This may sound counterintuitive coming from an asset manager, but our goal is not to find the next best stock. It's to better understand the businesses within which we invest. What's optically cheap to some may not be a good investment for us. So instead of looking for what's hot at the moment, we focus on what makes a good business, what makes that business unique, what makes their competitive advantages sustainable. By focusing on that first, sometimes we find new and interesting investments. Screens use quantitative data and typically it's backward looking, which is helpful when understanding what has occurred. But when we're investing our clients' capital, we're not investing based on what's happened. We're investing based on where we think a company's going. And so if you're using a screen to focus on backward looking data, you may miss the future. You may miss the transformation. You may miss the catalysts that we see in our investment process. So importantly, we do not use screens because we view them as exclusionary and backward looking. But instead, by focusing on businesses first and what makes that business unique, we can understand and perhaps see the transformation that's going on in a business and where the value will be created in the future. We are not trading stocks. We're not trading pieces of paper. Some people do that and that's perfectly fine for them, but what we do is invest in businesses. And so first and foremost, we need to understand what a company does, what makes them unique, why they earn their returns, why they earn their cash flows, and why that'll be able to sustain going forward. What our goal is, what our intention is every day, is to come to work and better understand the businesses that we currently own. Now that doesn't mean myopically focused on just the 40 or so holdings that we have in the portfolio, but it's understanding their entire value chain, understanding why a supplier is able to do business with a given company. And so by doing that, by understanding all the different levels in a value chain and understanding where the profits are accruing and where they may accrue in the future, we then better understand the businesses we invest. And through that, sometimes, sometimes we find new investment ideas that are in those value chains. What we do differently is look for good businesses. We're not looking for cheap stocks.